What's up, you? For today's video, with a full Tatsugiri Forms Pokemon team. I'll be using all the forms of Tatsugiri, and I thought it'd be right to use Dondozo in this team too. I'll be doing a mixture of single battle and doubles battle, showing off all of the potential of Tatsugiri's abilities and the moves that it gets and its combinations with Don Dozo in battle. If you enjoyed these doubles battles, people, let me know in the comment section. I definitely can include some more because there's so much you can do with doubles as well. I've got five battles here today with the Tatsugiri form team and I hope you enjoy. Earlier on, I uploaded the worst generation nine Pokemon, so make sure you give that one a check out too. First battle here, we've got, uh, we've got a doubles battle. I'm not really sure of my opponent's name here. And we've got a Tatsugiri and Don Dozo combination. So this is a Commander Tatsugiri, and it's going to be jumping into Don Dozo's mouth, giving it a plus two in everything. So with this uh, strategy, this one is actually a special Don Dozo Tatsugiri combination here. I've got Surf, Terra Blast, Order Up, and Noble Roar. I've got Throat Spray as the item. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to give Don Dozo and Tatsugiri a try with a special Don Dozo. And this was actually Max Speed and Max Special Attack. So I wanted to boost my Special Attack, which I thought would be pretty cool there. Unfortunately, with all the forms of Tatsugiri, you can't actually boost the Special Attack. You can only boost the attack, defense, or speed, depending on which uh, you know form you actually use, which I'll be showing off. So now we got a uh, combination here of a Luxray and a Jolteon lead. So I'm assuming that you know the Luxray is probably going to use a move, maybe Discharge against me to attack me and heal up the Jolteon. So here it comes. We got the Discharge in the Electric Terrain, and the Jolteon has got a Volt Absorb, so it's not going to be affected. Don Dozo is going to get hit pretty hard, but it's a very very bulky Pokemon after all. All those boosts there. Now I made this one sort of for singles and for doubles. That's why I've got Terra Blast and Surf on there at the same time. If you are curious, so go for that Terra Water Don Dozo here. And with Max Special Attack and Max Speed Timber Nature, I was actually able to outspeed quite a few Pokemon. So go for the uh, the Surf here. Now Tatsugiri obviously is inside of Don Dozo, so it's not going to be affected uh, by anything at all. Now with the Don Dozo and Tatsugiri combination, you can't swap out and Tat. Tatsugiri basically cannot do anything else. It's basically just there to uh, add to the Don Dozo. That's it. That's all its role is in these doubles battles. So I'm going to take that second discharge and yo, know, all that extra bolt really allowed for that. So next Pokemon is going to be closer. I'm going to be going for another Surf here. I thought Surf would be a cool move to go for too because it's going to be hitting both of the opponents there and it's going to be stabbed with the Terra too. Man, the uh, Cloyster goes down to one health with the Focus Dash there and I know what sort of set it's going to be. It's just going to be a typical shell smash set and that is lights out for Luxray so Don Dozo has taken out Jolteon and Luxray which is really really cool so now the uh, close there has gone for a shell smash and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to outspeed it and after those plus two and speed closer is going to be uh, rather fast there but it only has one health left and I've still got you know another uh, Tatsugiri times two and another Don Dozo times two so uh, here we go we got the Serral Leech here Serral Leech is going to go for protection there it's good to use protection and Cloyster is going to get outspent by my Don Dozo. And that's it. That's the end of Cloyster there too. So it's quite funny. Uh, that was quite a counter at the start there with the Jolteon and the Luxray. Since Don Dozo has got like excellent bulk already and with the effects of Commander and Tatsuguri, I was able to tank all of those attacks there and I've wiped out half the team already. Next Pokemon's going to be Arcanine. It's like, this is good. You know, Arcanine's gone for the extreme speed. Don Dozo is just so bulky, it withstands an extreme speed, and then the Shadow Snake, and now it's going to hit back with a Surf here. We've got a special Don Dozo sweep happening at the moment here. Here it comes at the double KO on Serra Ledge and the Arcanine right at the same time. There is only one more Pokemon left on my opponent's side of the field. The other move I had on this was Order Up too, so I could actually even boost uh, the speed on this set too. 
Now, the next Pokemon here is going to be Hydreigon. I'm going to go for the order up here, and they cancel the battle. So, there you go, people. It was a Tatsuguri Don Dozo combination suite there against the opponent for the first battle. That was crazy. Give the special set a try, right? All right, we got a uh, single battle this time. This is a battle against uh, Polar, and I'm going to be using every single Tatsuguri form here. So, we're going to be leaning off here. So, I use the normals and the shinies, too, to make up a team of six. So, this is... Let me just bring this one up here. We've got a protect set. So the, oh, all right. I know what this set is. So we got a uh, protect Tatsuguri here. Now, this is the droopy shiny form here. This Espartha is going to be setting up all the uh, the screens here. It's like a light screen set. So it's, uh, you know, pretty interesting. So I've got protect surf, rapid spin, and counter. Commander is the ability and focus ash. Now, commander doesn't work in the, in the obviously, in the singles uh, battles, but, uh, you know, this is sort of for the doubles battle only. So I tried to do some uh, commander and the other is going to be Storm Drain strategies. So that's going to be the end of my first Tatsuguri. I'm going to go into my second Tatsuguri now. This is going to be my Dracor Meteor Curly set. So this is Dracor Meteor, Hydro Pump, Terra Blast, and Icy Wind. The ability is going to be Storm Drain, and the item is going to be a Jetpack. Max Special Attack and Max Speed Tip and Nature. That's going to be the end of the S Path, which is good. Next Pokemon is going to be the Swordsbuck Winter. Swordsbuck Winter is going to go for a Trailblaze outspeeding my Tatsugiri and taking me out. This Pokemon is actually a fairly good counter for this team, so I need a Pokemon to deal with it. I'm going to be going into my next Tatsugiri here. Now, this is my counter set. So this is my Droopy Rapid Spin Protect and Surf set with a Focus Ash Commander as the ability. I thought Commander would be good on the set because I can use it for the doubles and I can use the counter for the singles, getting rid of any physical attackers, just like this Source Buck. So it worked out really well. I I ran this one as max special attack and max speed hasty nature. Next Pokemon is going to be the Haxorus. I can't do a lot to Haxorus, so I just went for a surf there. Haxorus is going to go for a Dragon Claw, taking out Tatsugiri. This is another good counter Pokemon to my team because, you know, they're all Dragon types. Now, the next Pokemon I'm going to bring in here, I know it surprised you, is also Tatsugiri. This is my Dragon Dance Baton Pass Subject Memento set, so it's all based around... Uh, passing on some status or just doing some damage uh, to the opponent in the way of dropping its stats. This is the other droopy set. I gave this one max health and max speed uh, jolly nature too. So the other uh, dragon dance is going to come from the Haxorus. I just dropped the stats and I'm very, very glad that I did that because this is really bad. I've only got two Tatsuguri left and I've only taken out two Pokemon. Next is going to be Tatsuguri again. I know this really surprised you. Actually, out of the Tatsuguri, I'd say the white shiny and this shiny here, like the stripy white, probably the best shinies that actually have in these forms. The other ones aren't really that good. They don't like even change very much. So I'm going to be going for a Dragon Dance here against the Dragon Dancing Haxorus. I was hoping I could get the jump on it with the speed, but unfortunately it did not happen. And it is going to be fainting me and one shot. So I've only got one more Pokemon left, and I know this is going to surprise you. It's a Tatsugiri. Now, my last Pokemon here is going to be the Stretchy form. So this is my Nasty Plot sweep here. I've got Nasty Plot, Terra Blast, Draco Media, and Hydro Pump. This is actually Terra Ground with uh, Storm Drain ability and White Herb as the item. Max Special Attack and Max Speed Tip of Nature. So in comes the uh, Skeledurge there, and out goes the Actress. I'm going to go for the uh, the Terra here. So the uh, Skeledurge is definitely going to be terrified by this type match up there. I don't know how Tatsuguri is able to, you know, stand there or sit there or lie there, whatever it's doing with that massive uh, little plate of dirt on its head there, but it managed to get a pretty good amount of damage there with the Draco Meteor. Now, the White Herb is going to kick in here, and that's going to do some good damage. I can follow up now with a Nasty Plot. I feel like I can live whatever attack Skeledurge does to me, and because it's not going to be hopefully super effective. So it's going to go for the Hyper Voice there. I lived that one pretty well, and now I can go for the Terror Blast here, and that will take out the Skeledurge in one shot. Why does that Terra Blast look as nearly as good as like, I don't know, Earthquake or Fisher? So that's the end of our Skeledurge. So I've taken out three Pokemon now. Next Pokemon is going to be the Palisand there. So I'm going to go for the Hydro Pump. Thank goodness it doesn't miss. And Palisand gets a big squirt of water straight down its mouth. 
I wonder if that was a water compaction set. Oh, it would be after that one. Next Pokemon is going to be the Hatchers. We've seen this earlier on. It's got that Mole Breaker. I'm going to go for Draco Meter here. It lands on Hatchers, which is awesome. And Hatchers is going to be fainting in one shot. So that's the end of my special attack too. I have a bit of a drop there. Last Pokemon is going to be Toxicro. So like, wait, I can go for the Terra Bus. Toxicro goes to the Psycho Punch. I live on 29 health. And now I'm going to fire off that Terra Blast here against this Toxic Rogue, and it was actually enough to take it out in one shot. That was a mega, mega comeback. I think I was down 1-4 at that stage in the battle. Thank you, Polar, for the battle too. Uh, pretty interesting Pokemon you got there. And let's get on to battle number three. This is a battle against Pedro Boogie. I don't, I'm not sure if I said that right, but this is a random doubles battle on the Poke Portal as well. Now, the first Pokemon we got here is going to be Dodonzo, and we've got Tatsuguri. So I'm going to show off the next Domzo set uh, with Tatsuguri. So I'm going to get those plus twos in my stats here. We've got a uh, Mouse Soul lead, and we've got the Tinkerton lead. So both physical Pokemon. So I'm thinking, okay, this could actually work out quite nicely. We've got a physical set. So I've got Waterfall, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and Order Up. Uh, the Terra is going to be ground here. So very similar, actually, to my uh, Don Dozo sweep that I did uh, earlier on in Scarlet Vine. So I'm going to get flinched there by the fake out, and now the uh, Mouse Hold is going to be going for a population boom against me. But since I'm so bulky, it's hardly even scratching me at all. So going for that order up there, getting some quality damage, and uh, the Mouse Hold actually lives on one health without a focus sash. Like, <laughs> what's going on here? Only I'll put my channel people, and the merch is available. So getting that defense drop, which is quite nice, and I've coupled that with a Droopy Tatsuguri so I can get, like, even more more bulk. So I'm going to get hit five times there. Play Rough is going to be sliding on by. So I'm like, okay, this is good. Now, Massad's going to go for Protect here. It's good to use Protection. And uh, I actually have this uh, Earthquake set. So that's going to be able to hit both of these Pokemon for some pretty big damage. And Massad only has one health left too. So I know that I can take that out. And it's super effective against the Tingaton, which is going to get bodied in one shot, which is awesome. That was a critical hit there that, you know, that definitely did not matter Like after all the boosts that I had there. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Belly Balls. Like, I, this is good. So what I thought here, I'm going to go for the Terra... Uh, the Terra on the Don Dozer because I don't want to get hit by an electric type move and you know, once I always say this mono Pokemon if you have only a couple of weaknesses one of the Terras of them give it one of their weaknesses and it's probably going to be your best sort of surprise Terra there so uh, we got the Tatsuguri avoiding the attack once again Tatsuguri does nothing really in here just for the commander and Belly Bolt is going to faint as is Morsault as well uh, Teletromorphosis is going to activate there but that doesn't do anything because it is fine so a double KO there. We've taken out half the team already with my very, very first Tatsuguri and Dondozo combination. Next Pokemon is going to be Skeledurge and Tyranda. This team is actually quite weak to ground. So like, this is good. I might be able to get a second sweep here with this Dondozo. This, and I will say this too, this is back-to-back -back battles I had. So I had that first doubles battle, then this was my actually my second one. So going for the Earthquake there, Tyranida just gets melted in one shot by my Earthquake, as does the uh, Skeledurge as well, which is awesome. There's only one more Pokemon left here. I'm going to get hit by the Sandstorm there. And the next Pokemon is Clodsai. Man, this team is weak to ground. I'm going to finish this battle with the Earthquake here. Obviously, Tatsuguru being inside the big Dondozo is going to avoid that attack. And that, my friends, is another Dondozo Tatsuguri sweeping combination. So far, you've seen a special Dondozo sweep. You've seen a physical Dondozo sweep. What could be next? If you enjoyed the video so far, people, if you like this sort of mix up with singles and doubles, drop a like there. Tell me about in the comment section. You, your feedback does mean a lot to me. And, you know, if you hit that like button, give that comment there. It gives me a signal saying you want to see this sort of stuff again. Next Pokemon battle here. Uh, I'm not sure what my opponent's name is. This is another random battle on the Poker Porter. We got a Breloom lead. Breloom is going to be going for a Technician Bullet Seed here, which is another good, you know, uh, type combination for this team. And my little Tatsuguri is going to get wrecked there in one shot. But it, you know, it did some pretty good damage there. That was my Mirror Coat set, so I wasn't actually able to get that off. I was hoping for a special lead. 
Now, the next Pokemon I can bring in here is going to be uh, my next category here. So, this was the, uh, yeah, this is the Draco. No, this is the Rapid Spin set. Of course, this is the Rapid Spin counter set. So, I've got that Rapid Spin off there. Now, I use Rapid Spin, obviously, to get rid of any entry hazards, plus outspeed the next Pokemon. Next Pokemon is going to be uh, Charizard here. I was like, okay, I've got a present for you. Let's go ahead and go for that Surf. With Max Special Attack, Charizard is going to be all washed up giving me uh, two Pokemon down and a nice little early lead. Next Pokemon here is going to be the Foratress. i seen Foratress in the team preview. That's why I lead with my Mirror Coat or my Counter Set, because I was thinking, yeah, that's going to set up like Stealth Rocks, you know? So it's going to go for an Ice Spinner. That was a little bit of a surprise there. I didn't expect it to be using that. And it's going to have the Leftovers as the item, which, of course, I did expect. Now, Foratress, interestingly enough, is going to be swapping out here, and Sylveon is going to come in. So Sylveon is quite a scary Pokemon for my team. I can't use any of those dragon type moves. So I'm going to need to uh, use other moves like uh, Surf. So I go for a double Surf here on the Sylveon. Sylveon's quite tanky, especially on the special side there. And it's going to finish me off with a Pixelate Hype Voice and a critical hit on top of that too. So bye-bye Tatsuguri. And the item that Sylveon is going to be having is going to be the Throat Spray there. So it's boosting its special attack. Now the next Pokemon I can bring in here is going to be, wow, it's a Tatsuguri. Imagine that. Now this Tatsuguri is the Memento set. Sort of like the, uh, it, it's a very handy Pokemon this team. It guys that, you know, pass on a stat, drop a scary Pokemon stats and help out my next swap in there. So Memento and Outspeeding was beautiful. So now Sylveon has got a negative one in its special attack. So it's not nowhere near as threatening as it was before. Now, with Tatsuguri here, we're going to go to our next one. This is the uh, Stretchy, and we're going to go for a Stretchy Terror. And this is the, oh, the Terror on this one was uh, ground. So the Terra ground, it just works really, really nicely on, on this for sure. I know it's not mono water, but it still does work pretty cool because I've got a very good strategy here for you with Tatsuguri. Now, it's going to hit me with a Pixelate uh, Quick Attack. That's going to be neutral because I've got that ground. And now I'm going to boost my Special Attack with Nasty Plot and fire off the terrifying Terra Blast on uh, Sylveon. So that's the end of our uh, Sylveon. Now, Foratress is not going to be able to come into this either. So they've only really got two more Pokemon that come in here. So next Pokemon is Geodo. This is a prime example why this set is so good. Let me show you. So we got a, uh, a Jolteon here. And Jolteon is going to surprise me here by going for a Terra Water. So they, okay, that's a good play there. Um, you know, me being a ground type and all. But this is the pure reason why I ran Storm Drain with the Terra Ground to bait out water type moves to boost my special attack. So there you go. Give this one a try. It's a very, very good baiting set there with Storm Drain. That's going to be the end of the uh, Jolteon in one shot for sure. Like, I've got plus three in special attack now. I'm just sweeping through this team. If I didn't have Storm Drain, I would have got absolutely wrecked there. So we got uh, two more Pokemon left. Next is going to be Foratress. I was like, wonder what they could do with Foratress here. Do they... I know they don't have Quick Lob, but uh, anyway, that's going to be fading to a, uh, a Terra Ground as well. And we've only got one more Pokemon left in this matchup here. The uh, Tatsugiri is sweeping through this team. Last Pokemon is going to be Dragapult. I was a little bit worried about this in the team preview, and it's going to be floating on its air balloon. It's going to be going for a Dragon Dance here, outspeeding me. Now, I haven't actually shown my hand here for all the moves that I got. I do have a Dragon-type move on this, and I held this back as much as I could, and we're going to drop the Draco on Dragapult, and that is the end of that. A nice little sweep there. You've seen Dondozo sweeps. You've seen Tatsuguri sweeps. I'm giving it to you all in today's video, people. Now, to finish it off here, people, is the final Dondozo Tatsuguri doubles combination here, and this is probably going to be one of my favorite sets. Let me bring it up right here, because this is a troll set here. This is a 100% Pipmite troll set. All right, here we go. So we've got the Tatsuguri uh, combination with Dondoso, and we're versing a Dondoso as well. This is amazing. So we've got um, both, there's so many like stat boosts going on. So we had a fish jump in Dondoso's mouth, and then we had another little, well, sushi, I mean, not a fish. Well, it's a sushi fish, you know? Now we got the normal versus the shiny turtle. I love uh, shiny Dondoso. The Dondoso is one of my favorite Generation 9 Pokemon. It, it's right up there. Too. I actually may even be sliding onto my top 10 favorite Pokemon. So we're all going to get those commander boosts, which is all nice. And it's going to see who has the best strategy here for the Dondozo. So this is a classic Pip Knight meme set. We got Rest, 
Fissure, Sleep Talk, and Order Up. Now, this Don Dozo is out of this world bulky, right? We've got Max Health and Max Special Defense, Careful Nature, and this is very, very tanky. It's got Unaware as well as the ability, and we've got uh, Staff Berry as the item as well, if the opponent can even get me down to there. So they're going to go for an Order Up there, boosting his speed. It's fine. I'm going to go for the Fissure. Now, Fissure doesn't have a lot of PP there, but with PP, you need to make it grow right. So we're going to be using Sleep Talk to boost the uh, PP of the Fissure even more. Now, I know this has its counters there, but I kept Order Up on there so I could actually use, you know, Order Up outside this matchup there too. So my opponent is now going to go for a Terra Dom Dozo, and it is going to be a Terra Water Dom Dozo. Like, okay, that's, uh, that's fair enough. Now, on this Dom Dozo set, I've actually got the Terra type set up as ground, I believe, as well. So I could get that, um, I, I could get that nice sort of uh, fissure there and surprise on any electric type Pokemon. Now they're going to keep going for order up here. They're, they're boosting their speed over and over again. As you can see, their order up move there. They've got the uh, Tatsuguri. Uh, using that, that's the, uh, the, the droop, no, the stretchy one there, the stretchy one. And I finally land my fissure on the opposing Don Dozo. So I'm like, okay, good. My strategy was better, you know, it's just way too bulky. So that Tatsuguri is going to remain on the field here. And the next Pokemon to come at it is going to be Dragon. I'm okay, good. You know, that's good. I can go for order up here. Since I've got the, uh, the stretchy one there too, it's going to boost my speed. So I want this to be a really fast, bulky set here with Fissure. So uh, my Tatsuguri is going to avoid any attacks being inside Don Dozo. Dragonite does have Thunder Punch, but it is not even scratching me at all after all those boosts I got from initially uh, merging with my Tatsuguri. So that's the end of Dragonite and another speed boost to me. Now, there comes a Mirror Coat there. They may have suspected like a special move too. It's a good thing because uh, I would have been dealt a lot of damage there from like a move like Mirror Coat or Counter. So I'm going to go for another fish here. It's going to land on the incoming Tinkaton and that is going to fake too. Things are looking juicy for another Dom Dozo sweet. Man, I've I've given you people like three Don Dozo sweeps here. So uh, we've got the Tatsugiri hitting me with a Dragon Pulse. That's going to do nothing. I haven't even revealed that I've got rest there. They send out their Garganackle people and they quit the battle because they simply couldn't touch me. Hope you enjoyed it, people. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.